Hello. In previous two chapters, we successfully installed Visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio 2012, MySQL database server, Apache web server, PHP, and also PHP My Admin. Then we configured Apache and PHP to work together as a local development server. In this video, we will see how to access and modify configuration files for Apache, PHP, MySQL and PHP MyAdmin. We will also see how to enable or disable some PHP extensions. So, let's get started. Before starting, make sure you follow along all previous videos and you have Apache server installed and running. Here in taskbar you can see Apache server is running. So I will open my web browser and type http colon slash slash localhost. In previous video I created custom PHP page with which echoed a message PHP home. If you remember I saved the location in C drive Apache 24 stdocs folder and index.php Now let's see Apache configuration settings In Apache there is a folder conf There is a file httpd.conf Edit this file in notepad and there are several settings in this configuration file. For example, server root means where the Apache server is installed. Listen port, port number on which Apache is installed. These are various different, different active modules. Server admin email address by default is stored here. And here you can see document root to htdocs. See Apache 25 htdocs is set here. In this configuration, default configuration, currently all files are stored in htdocs. What I want to do is, I will store my files on directly C drive so that I can access them directly under C drive. So I don't need to go in Apache 24 then htdocs. So I will create a folder with same name on C drive. And save a new index file there. new php file save and I will change 
the document root root path instead of c h t apache 24 ht docs i will directly redirect directly add the path to c drive ht docs i will save it and refresh the browser and you will notice it didn't change as i already told you in previous video whenever you make changes in php configuration or apache configuration you need to restart the server so i will go ahead and restart the server and apache restart now and now i refresh and you can see my new home is displayed here so now we are storing the files in directly under c ht docs folder for my sql configuration there is a file under c my sql there is a file my.ini you can open it in notepad and here you can change the port number currently default is 3306 you can also change the path where the data directory is set currently c mysql data default storage engine and also various different settings from here but the default settings are fine so we are not going to change mysql configuration now i will go to the php.ini file under c php php.ini and open it in notepad in previous video we saw how to enable extension by uncommenting this semicolon here you can see short tags if you make it on the tags like php tags like this will be enabled and we can run php script with these tags for asp tags if you make it on you can run php inside this asp style stack we are not going to write that tags so i am not going to enable it here is maximum execution time when you run a php script it will execute for 30 sec 30 seconds you can increase the time from here memory limit the most important setting here is display error on make sure you turn on the display error so that when we are designing php codes if there is a error the web browser will show us the error and here in error reporting e all means it will show all errors warning and notices including coding standards in development mode it is better to keep all the errors show if you are in production if you are 
if you uploaded all the files to live server it is good idea to dis off the display error to turn off the display error so that our user or hackers won't be able to see errors here we can enable or disable some extensions from here to enable a extension simply delete the semicolon and that extension will be available also there are database related settings here but the default settings are fine at the moment these additional settings are for advanced user so we are not doing we are not modifying any settings here finally for php my admin you can go to c php apache 24 ht docs and php my admin here config.inc.php inside this file you can set username and password for your database so that you don't need to put the details every time while logging into php my admin also you can set upload directory and save directory so that php my admin can upload the database backup from this directory in this case also the default settings are fine the most important thing since we moved the htdocs folder to c drive we will cut and move this folder inside our new htdocs folder so that php my admin works fine we will log in using default root user and the password we set while installation i hope you followed along all previous tutorial and have active local development server to create and test php applications in next chapter we will discuss about text editor for developing php applications and we will start developing our php applications if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching the video